Hey everybody, good morning, happy Tuesday. How was your 4th of July? Mine was totally uneventful. I went to Ikea. (laughs) I thought that um, nobody would be at Ikea yesterday. Well, I was totally wrong. Everybody that also thought nobody would be at Ikea was at Ikea yesterday. Um, So anyway, hey everybody that was at Ikea. Um, but that's, that's not what I wanted to talk about. What I wanted to talk about was, um, some amazing things that are going on in my life and just share about how it's, I actually thought that, um, really good things would be really easy to deal with. And I had a meltdown this morning, um, about how good things are going. (laughs) And I just wanted to share that. Um, hi, Sasha. Good to see you too. Um, So here's the deal. Last week I sat down and I meditated and I asked the universe, um, what is my mission and my purpose? Because I'm doing all these things. I'm teaching yoga and I'm launching this new brand called Bandwidth and uh, Bandwidth.online. And it's, it's, it's amazing. I'm super excited about it. It's an interactive yoga platform. And I am going to be on Virgin America, so if you fly Virgin America, tune into Channel 10 um, for some great in-flight video on me teaching you how to like stay calm and do some yoga. So I have all this exciting stuff going on, but I was like, what, like underneath all of it, what is my mission and my purpose? Um, Thank you for the heart. That's so sweet. So I'm meditating last week. And I'm like, okay, universe, what's underneath all the doing? Like I'm doing photography, I'm doing yoga, I'm doing channeling sessions. And I just, I thought there's something more that I am called to do. Because a calling is, for me, a calling is, um, what is a calling? A calling is like, I don't know how to describe a calling, but a calling is like something that goes beyond um, what I'm doing in the world. It, it goes beyond mission and purpose. It goes into like this undescribable thing of like you feel, uh, for me, when I feel a calling, I feel like my heart is being like pulled into something. And I've had it before and it's, I can't even describe it. But anyway, I'm sitting on my couch meditating going, what is my calling? And I, and I heard, um, what's her name? She wrote the soul of money. Um, anyway, I heard her speak recently about a calling and she said she wakes up every morning and she has this calling and that, um, her entire life, everything she does is informed by that calling. And I'm like, right that's what I need. I need to get with my calling. What is it? And I think it's different than the mission and the purpose. Like the mission may be to serve people with my talents, my gifts, blah, blah, blah. But the calling is like, frick, you can't mess with a calling. So I'm like, okay, universe, what is my calling? And I'm standing in line two hours later at Starbucks and I get this call and it's from the CEO of the Tibetan Nuns Project. Now, you can go on my website, Siddiqui Sol Ray, you can read my bio. I lived with nuns in India for a year. Totally changed my life. And I photographed them, and I donated these photos to the Tibetan Nuns Project, this project that helps these nuns that lost their nunnery in Tibet to the Chinese Um, and they are now refugees in India and they educate the nuns um, because it's like the monks, the Dalai Lama and then the nuns are at the bottom rung of society and I donated a year of photography to helping these nuns. So anyway, that was 18 years ago and I kind of have, I've been donating money ever since because I believe in the nuns but I get this call from from India, two hours later after, I'm like, what's my calling? And they're like, will you come to India and photograph the Dalai Lama and the nuns, initiating the nuns? So the nuns have been educated as a result of 
all of all of these people donating money for the nuns to be educated history lesson in the history of Tibetan culture nuns have never been able to become initiated as teachers it's kind of like in the Catholic Church they've never been able to be priests well they've never been able to be teachers and now for the first time ever in history these nuns are going to be able to be teachers in the Tibetan lineage and they're calling me and asking me to photograph it in December I almost like spit out my Starbucks which wouldn't be a bad thing anyway but anyway so that to me is a calling and I took a deep breath and I'm like okay right the nuns the nuns like these women that I love that have like changed my life that they've changed my perspective on life so in December I'm going to photograph the Dalai Lama initiating these nuns that I lived with thanks for the little thumbs up you guys um, and I just wanted to say like it was like that like that's a calling that's when like you ask the you what do you want me to do and the universe answers and then you say yes so that's my little thing for the day of like oh right I'm back on track with what I'm supposed to do so I hope that was helpful just wanted to share that I'll be sharing more details of that journey and um, and now I'm back to like business as usual getting on track for this virgin launch but um, I love you guys it's good to see you here mwah, mwah, mwah. If you have any questions or comments about your calling like what do you feel called to do what do you what are you called to do in your life I want to know uh, what does it look like for you um, right Marzi yeah thank you Tashi delay uh, what are you feeling called to do in your life or are you struggling to feel called and what are you doing about it so let me know okay Mwah. Bye.